Originally, Rotnik program contains four different weapons, two from the Kalashnikov factory and uh, two from another competitor. So at the end of the, at the, end of the contest, after over five years of rigorous testing, The Kalashnikov concern is planning to begin mass production of the AK-308 assault rifle with NATO standard ammunition in 2019. The factory tests have been completed, and the preliminary tests are coming up. If everything goes well, then this year we will be able to start mass production, Dmitriev said. The AK-308 is certainly interesting as a combat weapon, since assault rifles of this caliber are extremely rare, but at the same time it will have demand domestically as a civilian weapon, because this is one of the main calibers for hunting rifles. The weapon was developed on the basis of the AK-103 assault rifle chambered for 7.62x51M rounds with elements and components of the AK-12 automatic rifle, according to the Kalashnikov concern. It was reported earlier that the Russian Defense Ministry adopted into service the AK-12 and AK-15 assault rifles, developed by the Kalashnikov concern, as part of the Ratnik Future Soldier Gear. The first shipment of these assault rifles was delivered to the Russian military at the end of 2018 in the framework of the State Armament Order for 2019. We all hear the stories in the news. The good guy uses a gun to protect his family from...
originally, Rockney program contained four different weapons. Two from the Kalashnikov factory and uh, two from another competitor. So at the end of the at the end of the contest, after over five years of rigorous testing. Have you ever heard of Ahmed Abu Qadala? He's the terrorist mastermind behind the 9-11 Benghazi attacks that killed four Americans. 